In this video, we're going to talk about ordinary least squares estimation in the bivariate regression model. The goal of ordinary least squares estimation is to find the value of the estimated intercept and the slope that minimizes the sum squared error terms. So what we're trying to do essentially is try to find a regression line that minimizes the sum of the distances between the line and the observed data points. And this is a mathematical equation that has to be solved to do that. Using a little bit of calculus, this is what results. We're not going to derive that, but I believe the proof of that is contained in the textbook. So we get our estimator of beta hat 1 by taking the sum of the deviations of x from its mean times y from its mean for all of the observations and dividing that by the sum of the squared deviations of x from its mean. That gives us our estimated slope parameter. The intercept term beta hat 0 we can derive by taking the mean value of y and subtracting beta hat 1, estimated in the equation above, times the sample mean of x. And that gives us our first estimates of the intercept and the slope of a regression model. As we talked about a little bit before, under the conditions of the classical regression model that we talked about in the last video, the ordinary least squares estimators are unbiased which means on average they give you the correct estimator if you were to do this an in infinite number of times. They're consistent, which means as a sample size gets larger, they tend to converge to the true values, and also they're the best linear unbiased estimators. So among the class of linear and unbiased estimators, no other estimator attains a lower sampling variance than the least squares estimator. One thing I suppose we should also note is that in the special case, of error terms that are normally distributed, they're best asymptotically normal, which means they have the lowest variance not just among linear and biased estimators, but they also attain the lowest variance among the class of all unbiased estimators of the slope and the intercept parameters. In this equation, the variance of the intercept is given by this equation. One thing we can ask is what exactly is this variance? If you think about the estimator as being itself a random variable, with different samples, we get different values of this parameter. We know it's an unbiased estimator, so on average, our estimator should equal the true value. But in any given sample, it's going to be above or below that. So what this equation is telling us for the variance is how tightly bunched our estimators will be around the true value. So if the variance of the estimator is large, it means we don't have a very precise estimator. If the variance is small, though, it means that most of our estimates will fall close to the true value. Think about, first, what that means, and secondly, how this is going to be affected if there's a change in sigma squared, the variance of the error terms. If the variance of the error terms is larger, what will happen to the variance of our estimator? Also, think about what happens here when we have a sample that is larger. What's going to happen to the variance of our estimator when the sample gets larger? And also, how might that relate to the concept of consistency? Now, in practice, though, we can't use the equation because we don't know sigma squared. Since we don't know the true value of sigma, we estimate that by taking the sum of squared sample error terms and divide by n minus 2. And the degrees of freedom here is n minus 2 because, as we noted before, the degrees of freedom for any model is going to be n minus the number of parameters that you have to estimate to compute that statistic. So in this case, in order to estimate sigma hat squared, you had to compute first beta hat 0 and beta hat 1. So even though we have n observations, there's only n minus 2 independent degrees of freedom. So when we replace the unknown value of sigma squared with the estimated value sigma hat squared, we end up with this estimator for a sample variance which looks the same, except we're using sigma hat in place of the unknown sigma. The slope estimator has even a simpler form, and in this case, our variance of the estimator of beta hat is given by sigma hat squared, the same estimator for the variance, divided by the sum of the xi minus x bar quantity squared. The covariance is given by this equation, and think about what's going to be true about the sign of this covariance. 